Jamie Staten and News 9 Sports. Well, let's face it, Bruins fans, Tuesday night was rough. Carolina scored a touchdown in the beatdown. They took down the Bruins 7-1. to But two nights later, here we go again. Bruins look to get back on track with a 7 o'clock game on the Garden Ice against the Washington Capitals. I, I think they'll be ready to go in terms of energy level. The other night, obviously, uh, was a dud. Uh, it happens during the year. You just got to monitor and make sure it doesn't creep in um, too often. Uh, so that's what we addressed yesterday. I thought we had a good energized practice, optional today, so guys can sort of um, get their energy level back up. All right, this week's hometown hero is achieving some great things on and off the ice for Pinkerton Academy girls hockey. WMUR's Jonathan Marshall tells her story. Achieving great athletic feats isn't new for Molly Fahey. She once stayed in New England wrestling championships growing up and played for a local dairy youth football team. I always wanted to keep up with the boys, so I was always playing the boys' sports too. It was always fine. I was always competitive with them, and after a couple of years, I started playing hockey and didn't have time for it anymore. Dedicating time to the ice has proven to be wise for the Pinkerton senior. Fahey has led the Astros in scoring the last three seasons. She also sets the tone in the classroom with a 3.7 GPA. We're a young program. We've only had four years. She's been with me since she's been a freshman. Uh, people look to her as a leader. That's why she's a captain. I'm always competitive, and I always want to strive to be the best. So I always push myself to work as hard as I can every single practice and game. Fahey dedicates time sharing this passion, Coach the next generation of players. She's also kept busy training her three horses, Theo, Kingsley, and Gronk, named after former Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski. I've been riding horses since I was young, and about five years ago, I got my first horse, and then after that, I got two more, and they all don't know a lot, so I've definitely had to train them a lot to do everything I need, but it's been fun working with them. Before heading south to be a student at Old Miss, Fahey is looking forward to adding to her legacy at Pinkerton. Our team is definitely starting to come together and work together as a team. And I think I'm also improving my game as well. So it'll be a good season. Shout out to Molly Fahey, this week's hometown hero. Not sure I would trust a horse named Gronk. High school hockey this afternoon. Brady and Bedford, no scoring into the second period. Then Brady on a power play. Jake Tash collects the puck at the blue line. And his wrister found the net. one nothing. The Giants had the lead. Bedford answers with heavy pressure. Luke Moore's initial shot from the point goes wide. Javin Manfield sent it out to the other point. And just off screen, Owen Gupta fired it home. It was a 1-1 game. How about a big-time save? Patrick Costa from the faceoff dot glove save. And a beaut by Owen Courier. They're in the third period 1-1 one, one game and let's run through the NFL playoff matchups you got the Bengals and the Titans that should be a close game can Jimmy G do anything with the Packers Saturday night that's the question on Sunday you get Tom Brady at three and then I think the best game Bills and Chiefs so that's gonna be awesome would you ride a horse named Gronk mm -hmm. <laughs> not anymore <laughs> thanks so much David